Hey, welcome to this video. Let's go through the main steps that I actually take in order to check if a deal is actually going to be eligible for me to actually buy. Um, and when I mean eligible, I mean me personally. Would I buy this deal? Would it fit into uh, the metrics that I've set out into my personal OA business? And so this is just an example that I've got up here. So um, let's look in. So the first main ship that I would look at is actually the very first thing is the Bybot Pro Confidence Score because this tells you a lot as I've mentioned in previous videos this tells you a lot it tells you the price stability it tells you the sales per month a rough idea it tells you whether it's got good amount of sales so straight away this is this is a massive green flag it's not everything but it's a massive green flag the second thing that I do is check, obviously, if there's any hazmat, if there's any illegible, dangerous goods, and can I actually sell the item? And if you're not logged in, then obviously you need to do that next, okay? So the first thing I do is check the confidence score. The second thing that I do, which is obviously 100% essential, is check, can you sell this item, okay? The third thing that I actually do now, not so much in toys and games, because it will do this, but some grocery items, if you're VAT registered, then you need to check that it's taken into account all of your VAT fees there. And as I can see, it correctly has. If it hasn't, then you've got a simple VAT override here, if you need to add that in. The next thing that I do is shoot straight down here. I'll check the estimated sales here, which is fantastic, okay? So the first thing I'll do is check the estimated sales. Now I don't go too into detail worrying about this, but it's good to check them. So this is another quick check. The next thing I'm doing is looking at the competition analysis. And as you can see, there's only one other seller here. So that is absolutely 100% fantastic. And I can see why the confidence score is so high. The next thing that I want to do, and this is my third, this is my final check, is looking at the history on the graph here. Now, this is, in my opinion, the most vital part because everything can look great in the moment, but if it's going to go downhill once you've bought it, then obviously there's no point in buying the deal. So what I'm doing here is looking at the last 90 days, and then I'm going to look at the 180 days, and I'm going to look at all time. And let me talk you through the reasons why I'm going to do that in such detail. Now, the 90 days gives me a good good idea of what the product is like now. So as you can see, the sales rank was not great here, but you can see why it wasn't great here because the price was a little bit more and it was actually just after, okay, after Christmas here. As you can see, the sales rank went much lower around Christmas, 20th December here, okay. As we can see here, the price did drop to actually 34.78 here. So I would actually check that I can make profit at that price before I bought it, just in case it goes down to that again. But as you can see, the price is actually higher here, so that's okay. So all in all, I can see the sales rank isn't amazing, but when the price is lower, it gets better. Therefore, the sweet spot looks at around about 43.99 here for consistent sales, not too much competition. I'm gonna look at the 180 days here and see that actually my suspicion's being confirmed. It's not great sales, but it's okay sales at 4350 here. The third and final check I'll do is the all time. Let's just check that there's been no massive price drops. As you can see, it was at 18 pounds, but that was almost one year ago, and there was no FBA sellers there. So what I would do is probably ignore that, but bear in mind there's still a risk there and that would actually affect my the quantity that I would purchase just in case this ever happened. But I'm fairly confident it's gonna stay like this because that was only for a split moment in time. I'm fairly confident the price could be consistently 43.50, worst case 34.90. So I would actually then check that I can make money and don't make a big loss at 34.90. Um, which I'm pretty sure I will, as you can see. That's the worst case scenario um, from what it looks like. So that's the main checks that I would do on um, Bybook Pro here. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you soon.